Hello everyone, this is Karen Cornell, your Creative Memories Advisor, and I want to give you an update from how my planning for my retreat last weekend went. So where I left you was last Tuesday, I hosted a crop at my house, and instead of working on project, a project, I decided to prep for my retreat. And I'm very glad I did. It it helped me a lot. And I am going to sh share with you what worked and what didn't work. And I really only have one thing that I would change for next time. So what worked? I had all the pictures sorted ahead of time. I had them labeled with the date. That's key. So I started with that. And then what I did at the crop was I would take a post-it note and I would write the collection that I wanted to do, use and pick out the layout. So the way I picked the layout was I looked at project recipes, all those project recipes that we've done, any layout from Noreen Smith, the, um, the fun and fast projects that she's been doing, any of those ideas, sketches. Sam has come out with sketchbooks. And so I would write either 101, 110 sketch, and then I'd write the page number on the little post-it note so I knew exactly what I wanted to do. If I was changing it in any way, I would write, draw a little picture on the post-it note. Because I had, you know, I used my double maps and I would lay out the pictures and visualize how I want it to work. If I wanted to flip the layout or whatever, I would make those notes on the post-it note. The one thing that I forgot to do was actually take a picture of where I was placing those pictures. So when I got to my crop, I would pull out this, I would get all the paper, I would get everything ready. And then I realized, ooh, where did I decide to put those pictures? <laughs> so sometimes I remembered and sometimes I didn't. So I feel like I wasted a lot of time trying to remember how I wanted the pictures. And some of you may think, well, that's not a big deal. Well, when I'm a picture person, so when I want to fit a lot of pictures on there and I want them to look nice and I don't want them to just be, um, horizontal, vertical, horizontal, vertical. You know, I, I, I wanted it or horizontal, vertical, vertical, horizontal. I don't want a big square. I want it to look, you know, prettier. <laughs> so I, um, I, I, I was kind of disappointed that I didn't think of that step. So next time what I would do is I would just take a quick snapshot of where those pictures are and I would make a file on my uh, phone. And that way I would just scroll through my phone and be like, okay, there's the pictures, lay them out, cut them and be done. I did not spend the time of cutting each picture because what if I wanted to change my mind or something at the crop? So I didn't, I didn't do that. And I wasn't, you know, I can cut a picture pretty quick. So I wanted, I also wanted to give myself, you know, at a crop and a retreat, you have the time to really be creative, talk to your friends around you, your table mates and come up with different ideas and, and that is something that that's really, really I treasure at crops and retreats because, you know, cropping at home is great and I get a lot done, but there's nothing like cropping with friends and and just just being there and, and scrapbooking with them. is just so fun. But so if I had a layout that was completely done uh, that I had, I was using a PR that was already done and maybe I had memorabilia with it or something, I would use these new sleeves that CM just came out with. Love these. Love these. Um, you slide them in. They're not super thick. You know, you can't stuff them, but it's perfect for a layout or a couple layouts. If I had them ready to go, I use these and I would just put a post-it note what, what pictures it was going with. So that helped me a ton because I just put everything in order and I just went through it. Now, um, just really, I just loved it so much. And I want to show you just a quick um, summary of what I did. I did complete 24 pages, which for me was great because I did have a lot of downtime. I did go out to dinner. I did socialize and just sit there and chat. And and for me, that was so great. And uh, we had happy hour and it was great. <laughs> so um, I, I just think, you know, Yes, it's great to get a lot done, but it's also, you know, fills my soul being with my girls. So let me show you, turn my camera around and show you some pages and I'll talk you through a little bit of some things. So real quick, this is the new This Life album cover. This is, it's um, a blue agate and 
let me show you real quick how it compares. This is navy, this is cobalt. So it's kind of a little bit, not as bright as cobalt, but not as dark as navy. It's, it's an absolutely stunning color. It has the silver foil with the Carolina Blue Heart. Absolutely gorgeous. Highly recommend this album. If you need an album, I love it. It's probably my favorite shade of blue that CM has come out with. I ordered the Fast and Fabulous album because in a Fast and Fabulous album, you get the, the decoration, the, the printing on the cover, the inside cover. If you order a regular album, then you don't get that. It's just, it's either white or Spargo. But this, uh, because it's the Fast and Fabulous, they do a design on the inside cover. I have my a template I'm doing for the inside cover that I'm gathering pictures for. So I have actually put it in one of these sleeves and it's with the recipe template and the pictures I have found so far that I want to put on the front cover because I'm going to have uh, 2019 and then I'm going to have some fun pictures from the year. So the thing that I love about going to a retreat is I spend the time using the cricket and doing fun things. Like when we go to the Georgia Aquarium, we love the penguins. So I was able to cut out some cute little penguins. I used the border maker cartridge, the border punch for the fish that CM has. And then I cut out these really cute angel fish, added some bubbles. So really, really fun. This is a PR that I did. The reason why I love Another reason, I mean, I keep telling you, I love going to retreats. It's great because, and cropping with friends, it's because they give you ideas. This was a PR that I, I loved the PR. I just love the colors, the papers. And I just thought it went really well with the what the girls were wearing. But I couldn't figure, I just, I wanted the two different fonts, but I couldn't figure out what to put behind. And, you know, this is why it's great to have table mates. So Sheila next to me immediately said, you need a green apple. And I was like, green apple, that sounds crazy. But she was right. It looks beautiful. And it tied it all together and it brought the green. I used, you know, when I have, when I go to crops, I take my big binder and I go, this is where I have all of my stuff. Lots of words, layers, embellishments. This is where I have um, some sticker sheets that I'm done with the collection. So this is where I found some stickers to go on this page. And if these were stuck somewhere with just the collection, I probably would have never used them. So that's why it's nice to have them in a binder where I can see them. This was a PR. This is another PR. This was a sketch. And this, I have pictures that I'm gathering miscellaneous pictures to put on this page. This was, I put on the, the sheet, I said I wanted Capri Blue, a simple layout with red accents. And for me, a simple layout was looking at, you know, nor, the th uh, one, two, three cuts, those kinds of things, cut layouts. This was actually one from last year, one of the quarter advisor exclusive layouts, and it works beautifully. I just substituted, you know, some extra papers because I wanted different papers, but this was a sketch. And I knew I wanted these pictures over here in, and they had them smaller. I wanted them bigger. I wanted them four by four, not three and a half by three and a half. So that's why I had to modify the layout. I'm short of E, so I need to add an E. But then this, I used the new Titletopia um, bundle that just came out for the, the, for the letters, the mini letters. This, I, this was so fun. I, I just very simple. This was the This Life PR. I used the new, oh, you can't see, the new um, stickers for journaling, the, like the journaling tape sticker things. I don't know the official name of them, but love that because when I made a mistake, I just had to pull another one. It was great. Dr. Seuss, this one, I'm very proud of this layout. I had a dream about this, and this is what I came up with. So there was a PR uh, a while back. I think it was, a, maybe it was Capri Blue. I, it was a blue one where we had the stripes across and I loved that. And I just thought it go, went well with the Dr. Seuss theme. Then this, I had to find other pictures. This was a PR. I knew we had done a kite PR at some point and I was like, we did a kite. And then I figured out it was NST 2022. So I was able to use this layout. This I have, to, I know what I want to do, but I needed different pictures or different paper. This was what I did right before I left. 
and I got it done. I still have to add, this is one of the pages that I need to add some journaling and titles. And this is a PR, I need to finish the journaling, but this was from 2022. So as you can see, I got a lot done and the pages are, are, are pretty. I mean, I'm biased, but you know, they are my pages and I'm proud of them. But I, I, I'm proud of what I did. I did, you know, basically 20 out of 24 pages. I would have gotten more done if I would have taken pictures of where I wanted the pictures to go. I did waste time trying to recreate what I thought because I was like, I loved that. What did I come up with? And I was so frustrated with myself that I couldn't remember. But, you know, it's one of those things take a quick picture. That's what we have these phones for. You know, we need to delete them and not save them and back them up, which I forget to do a lot of times, but it's, it's great. It's a great resource that we have on our phone to be able to take pictures really quick and remember to help us in, in scrapbooking. So I highly recommend power layout. Um, I would do it again. Uh, I, the only thing I would change would be taking those pictures, but I hope this tip helps you as you plan for crops and retreats. I do have the next crop I have is February 10th at my house and I have some spots available. I think we're cropping for what, like 10 hours at my house. It's gonna be great. So I will probably do something like this to prepare for it as well. So I get a lot done. Uh, and I hope you have a great day and I hope this tip helps you. Keep scrapping.